coming to theaters. You may think that I am absolutely certifiably insane. And if you do and you want to go, I'll completely understand. I have a whole other life in France. Don't move for me. No silly faces. Okay, come on. Night, night, Mama. Don't forget about me. Both lives are so real to me that I don't know which one is the dream and which one is real. I I'm real. That's what they all say. How's the dream? A year ago, we said if this was still going on, I wanted you to see someone. You said. Is it taken? Decided I want you to like me. Saturday night, a real date, okay? Eight o'clock, dress up, everything. Central Park, Sunday morning at nine. Dress is informal. I'll bring refreshments. The seat taken? It's even worse than you think. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, I'm not interested in dating you. So what are you interested in? You. Just who you are. I have a psychiatrist in New York. He thinks that I'm a Manhattan career woman who dreams of being a mother in France. I love you, Mommy. I love you. One word is for you. The other a dream. I know that. Dr. Freud told you what? New York has to be the dream world. Power, self-expression, endless line of men wanting to date you. Now, if that's not a dream, huh? He said it faster with less drama. Always do what you wish you could. Is that the secret of happiness? Yeah. If you really care about someone, then you have to respect who they really are. I know who you are. When I dream, I dream about you. You are riding two horses. The mind is not built to do that without breaking apart. The real one will leave. Does. You know, the other one is the dream. I don't want to give up either of them. This well, dreams do come true. Coming to video cassette. Constable Ichabod Crane, sent from New York to investigate murder in Sleepy Hollow. How much of your superiors explained to you? Only that the three were slain in open ground, their heads severed from their bodies. Taken by the headless horseman, taken back to hell. He rode a giant black steed to look at him, made to blood run cold. Even today, the western woods is a haunted place where brave men will not venture. We have murders in New York without benefit of ghouls and goblins. You're a long way from New York, Constable. Is everyone in this village enthralled to superstition? We have many things to talk about, even in this backward place. Excuse my manner. I'm not used to... The amount company? Murder! The horseman's killed again! The assassin is a man of flesh and blood, and I will discover him. Are you so certain of everything? Perhaps there's a bit of a witch in you, Katrina. Why do you say that? Because you've been witched too.
Thomas Ripley lived a solitary life until a wealthy man offered him an extraordinary opportunity. Did you ever conceive of going to Italy? I pay you to persuade my son to come home. Dickie Greenleaf? It's Tom. Tom Ripley. We were at Princeton together. How do you do? You're so white. Did you ever see a guy so white, March? You know, you should come and have lunch with us. Now, He's in a world he always dreamed of. No, I like him. Marge, you like everybody. Marge, you like everybody. If you're not home by 7 o'clock, Tom and I are running off together. With people he always admired. You can't sail. You can't swim. Did you ever know such low class? Oh, yes. Poor Tom. Living the life. Why is it that when men play, they always play at killing each other? He always wanted. You uh, stay at Dickie's house. You eat Dickie's food. And his father picks up the tab. <laughs> and now that he has it... You could hardly expect this to go on forever, Tom. We've had a great run, though. What? He'll do anything to keep it. I've never been happier. I feel like I've been handed a new life. I'm Meredith, by the way. Dickie. Dickie Greenleaf. Hello, Marge. <laughs> Where's Dickie? The guy has disappeared off the face of the earth. He hasn't called. He's hardly written. You don't just dump people. Something's going on. Do you have something you'd like to say? I think I'm saying it. I bumped into Dickie last week. Dickie? This is a secret. It's a secret between us. I know it was you. I know it was real! Whenever Dickie does something, I feel guilty. I know about you. Well, you got the reward. I always thought it would be better to be a fake somebody than a real nobody. I don't believe a single word you've said. You're shivering, Marge. Can I hold you? Ah! Well, whatever you do, however terrible, however hurtful, nobody thinks that they're a bad person. Ah! Pleased to bring you our feature presentation.